Uh, actually, the, the economic and social conditions uh, situation in Spain are, are leading towards a uh, real uh, uh, unfolding of, of, uh, of the social explosions and, and so on. Uh, if we take, for, for instance, uh, the economic, uh, the, the, the economic uh, conditions in, in, in Spain, we, have, uh, we are suffering 25%, uh, 24, nearly 25% unemployment, general unemployment. Uh, when it takes to to, jo to young people, it, it even reaches uh, 52 percent. And uh, if you if you speak to people in, in the streets, you, you can you can see that all, all the men, anyone is speaking about politics. Anyone's uh, really worried uh, worried about what's going to happen. Uh, what it seems clear is that uh, we are leading to, we are heading towards uh, a down slope and. and the only thing that we can find is uh, is a hill. Uh, actually, uh, everyone uh, is really is really aware of what uh, the consequences of the bailout will be. Mainly, not uh, not fully aware of, of the worst conditions, but they know how bad it's going to it's going to be. Uh, we are suffering uh, uh, vicious cuts on education, uh, healthcare, and so and even uh, wages and uh, public sector workers. For instance, uh, the last uh, last uh, March, uh, the, uh, the minister, the ministry of uh, the minister of uh, education, uh, 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 announced uh, a 60% increase in, in tuition fees. Uh, so that's that that's uh, that's that we will that will happen that, that will happen the next year. So uh, there have been already some movements within universities, uh, even in. Teachers and uh, teachers, teachers unions, and uh, we will see in this uh, October, uh, from from this autumn, how uh, there will be a, a massive explosion in, in education and so on. We are seeing that well, actually, the government will, will try to even to to f uh, to fire and uh, public sector workers. Uh, we will see how even regional governments are applying cuts uh, at every stage. Uh, we are suffering vicious cuts in, in education, uh, apart from 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 university, that, that's uh, high schools and so on. And uh, we are starting to see uh, even uh, situations in which uh, even children don't have uh, are not uh, having enough food when they are going back to school. So we have a, a concoction that, uh, that will will step, uh, will even go forward uh, from from this autumn, and uh, will even uh, and will increase uh, the social uh, instability that uh, they are now suffering. The government uh, that came in, in in last November, the conservative uh, Mariano Rajoy uh, government, uh, has gone down like twenty like twenty points uh, since it won. The Socialist Party uh, that uh, had that got the worst uh, the worst uh, result in its history uh, is even going down. Although <laughs> the conservative the conservative party is even is uh, soaring, uh, sorry, it's uh, dropping, and uh, uh, we are seeing how the left is going back to is, is coming back to the to the forefront of, of the political activity and uh, scope. Uh, Izquierda Unida, United Left, has in, has increased his uh, vote expectancy uh, by by twice, has increased uh, has multiplied by twice, and uh, since November, and it will probably go go up uh, as uh, social instability and, and protests and so on uh, go on. Following period that, that we are going to face. Uh, so, what we what we think so far, what, what we have to the, the conclusion we have to draw so far is that capitalism has uh, has failed in Europe, has failed in, in all over the world, and that the poorest countries, that uh, the weakest links in, in Europe, are, are starting to to fall, and are created a domino effect uh, which will. Uh, Will, will affect uh, the whole of Europe and the whole of, of the uh, world economy. Uh, so, 
I think that uh, the way out is quite clear. We have to we have to uh, to struggle against uh, those governments, uh, the governments in favor of, of the troika. Uh, we have to fight against Scots, and the only way to fight against Scots is uh, to fight against capitalism, to to, to make capitalism go uh, to to, uh, to overcome capitalism. Uh, So, uh, uh, by, at, at all, and uh, that is uh, why we have to struggle, and that's why we in, in lucha de classes, the, the Marxist uh, international Marxist tendency in Spain, are struggling for uh, to put forward a socialist program in the United Left and Izquierda Unida, so that we can, uh, uh, based on the Marxist ideas, and uh, so that we can uh, destroy capitalism. And, Built up socialism uh, in Spain and in, in all over, in all over Europe and all over the world. Yeah, there were some impressive movements in the last few years in Spain, like the Ignatos movement, the 15M movement, and now the miners and the firefighters and the public sector workers in Madrid and so on. Can you maybe explain a bit the situation at the moment? Uh, the Indignado movement, the 15M movement, uh, actually was a, a turn in, in the general mood, in the general situation in Spain. After after years of uh, of social peace and and, uh, and uh, the union leadership not being able to push forward the movement uh, to to make to to increase this, uh, the protest on a higher scale, uh, we saw how people got into the into the squares, got to the street, putting forward very basic demands, but which were progressive indeed, and that was. Uh, anti-capitalist in, in its base uh, like for example we are not uh, goods in the hands of, uh, of uh, politicians and, and banks and, and, and multinationals and uh, uh, of course a reaction to uh, against uh, corruption uh, corruption scandals that have been uh, growing in Spain in the last years and uh, basic demands uh, in the case of uh, housing uh, against the privatization of education and so on. Uh, the case that the, the fact that the movement didn't have uh, a real leadership and a real uh, structure uh, ended in, in people going uh, becoming a bit upset and, and demoralized. But uh, we have to say that the movement after, after last summer uh, we restarted by with, with, uh, with, uh, with the teacher strikes. We had uh, a whole series of different uh, strikes in different sectors, and uh, we have student strikes and so on. And after the, the, the new government uh, come, came to power, uh, we saw the first uh, the first general strike after two months of government. In, Three months of government in March the 29th, uh, which has been uh, which has been the, the, ma the, the major strike in the last 20 years at least, and uh, we have been how the movement has expressed through through labour. The labour has come at least. The unions have, have at least come uh, into into action, and. Uh, we are seeing how uh, different spheres, different uh, parts of the working class are starting to move, especially with, uh, with the miners, which uh, has been uh, a real impact on the rest of the workers. Uh, we have had uh, different march, uh, marches and support, meet, support meetings and support marches in all over the country, uh, expressing their support uh, for the miners and seeing the miners as, as an icon to follow, seeing uh, they, they as an example to, to be followed. So what we can expect is that uh, the miners have been the, the first step of a broader, ma of a broader movement that, that is about to come in, the, in, in autumn and so on.